Sagittarius, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and Mates has just jumped on the table. She just knows when it is Sagittarius. She's a Sagittarius, so that's why she always joins me for the Sagittarian reading, I think. It's it's magical, it's really weird, but it she always comes when I do Sagittarius. Okay. Well, th I hope you're well and safe. And this is your reading for the 11th to the 17th of May 2020. Um, I'm using the Vice Versa cards, and I'll show you why in a minute. And if you would like to see more about the Vice Versa cards, then you can find it in the playlist. I'm using the Wildwood Tarot and the uh, Animal Spirit or Oracle deck, and the Surrendering deck. If you would like to have a one-on-one -on -one reading with me, then you can find the information below this video in the description box. And you can also click on this little white dot and it will take you to the website. First of all, this is why it's called the Visa Versa. So you here you've got the front of the hanged man, but you have the uh, back of the hanged man. And you can see that there's two people standing. That is what he is seeing and here he can't see, okay? So, this is what is happening in front of him. Now, because this is the other, other way around, it does, it is a spiritual card, so it does mean you might have to take time out to meditate, contemplate and evaluate. The, but I don't think there's any delay as such because this is the reverse of what the me this meaning, okay? With this meaning, there might be a, um, uh, a delay for four hours, four days, four weeks. But I think there are no delays because he can see what he wants and he can t uh, come out of the tree whenever he wishes. But he's been in a meditative state and I think you're ready to come out of that meditative state. You've got a different perspective now. So um, that's why it is time to get going, come into action Sagittarius, as you have judgment. And judgment means in the traditional card you see Gabriel blowing a horn into uh, and blowing life into the, um, the dead, the rising dead. So it's a second chance, a new beginning. Look at all that fiery energy. It looks like fire but it's supposed to be the the ghost of the big bear, the grand bear. Okay, rising from the dead. On Wednesday, you have the um, Knight of Pentacles. This could be a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn. You might receive news about something that is tangible. This could be about a job, this could be about a um, study, this could be about an investment that you've made, but it is something that is slow and steady, that is growing, and that, has, that will come to fruition, that will bring in money for the long term. So if you're studying and you're an apprentice, uh, or you're starting a new study, in the long run, you will receive good payment. Underneath this, you've got the card that to confirm it. You've got the three of stones, the three of pentacles. So you are the apprentice here, and you've got recognition. So you're working very hard and diligently, and you're getting news. Perhaps you might be getting exam results, who knows? Or if you've started a business, you will get the returns. You'll see uh, news of the returns that your business is uh, making. Then you've got the Hierophant. The Hierophant, here you can see his pupils, the priests. So that's why I'm s more apt to say that this reading is about a study or coming to fruition of a study or an investment. The Hierophant is an, uh, a mature man, and um, uh, it could be a teacher, 
it could be uh, a lawyer, it could be a bookkeeper, um, it, it is a person, a mature man, um, that works in an institution or a municipality, okay? <coughs> so you might be seeking advice from a mature man uh, that works in a municipality or an institution and also the Hierophant is also known as the High Priest and that is also, um, he also represents Taurus Taurus okay so you might seek advice from a father figure or a professional that could be a Taurus and then we've got the King of Vessels underneath it the King of Vessels is of course Cancer so it could also be a Cancerian um, or you might be meeting a Cancerian or a Taurus okay he's a loving, nurturing, passionate, a caring, handsome man or woman, beautiful woman so if you're a man you could be meeting a woman that uh, um, has the status of the king okay um, so that's awesome but don't exclude the other water signs Scorpio and Pisces and then you have the Emperor again this man knows how to rule his kingdoms he's higher than the kings again he represents um, an advisor as well this could also be a teacher a doctor uh, somebody from municipalities or an other institution and he represents Aries so the prominent men in the reading are Taurus Aries and the King of Cups which is Cancer okay now let's have a look uh, yeah that's it you've got the knight so it could be definitely a pentacle per person that's more prominent because you've got two cards in that okay and then you have the page of arrows and that is the page of swords so you will be receiving news this could be from a young person but it could also be through cyber email text message or telephone call and the page of swords is an aquarian so we've got here we've got the cancer aquarian uh, aries and taurus that's aries and that's taurus and you've got the overall uh, card uh, is also the green man but it's also the emperor so that is the, the emperor is um, Aries so that is also uh, quite prominent in the reading but you will be celebrating because you've got the three of cups with this you are celebrating with family and friends and now you and this is telling you you can celebrate and call upon your friends to celebrate and give thanks and show gratitude okay and underneath this card you've got the four of wands celebrations so definitely Sagittarius there are beautiful celebrations ahead for you this could be with a Taurus because we're still in Taurus uh, and a birthday of a Taurus okay and you've got the beautiful sweet little card with the dear spirit the dear spirit and it's number 18 and that means something is coming to an end because eight and one becomes a nine bring a gentle touch the time has come to be gentle and diplomatic when dealing with others you might have found yourself in a situation where negotiations are necessary in order to reach your goal be mindful that's why you might need an, ad an, an adversary uh, not adversary advisor be mindful of the words you choose but do not worry this uh, dear spirit reminds you that you have the ability to be sure-footed and confident where well, you usually are Sagittarius while showing hum humility and respect for others you will find 
that your capacity <coughs> excuse me for calm and grounded communication is heightened at this time follow the way of the dear spirit and you will do well gaining the respect of others and finding common ground recognition that is pleasing to you remember that understanding others and their needs will be more powerful at this time than putting your own first if you do that you will be rewarded tenfold that is beautiful and that's quite true the last card that you have hi Sagittarius my little Sagittarius there you are you've got her tail um, okay the last card is surrender to joy well you've got joy big time this week darling a key to positive change in your life is to let joy in and savor it indulge in random acts of smiling during both the hard and easy times keep surrendering to more joy jump for joy that's what comes up in my head okay wow i think that is amazing reading sagittarius you've got the right perspective you can leave <laughs> the um, meditation and contemplation just come back to it from time to time so that you can adapt your boundaries and your ideas i hope you like this reading and if it doesn't resonate with you my sweetie then um go and have a look at your moon sign and your rising sign take care stay safe and be blessed and please share and like the video with family and friends take care ciao ciao